DRO here. I've actually got my phone up here with the camera's monitor. The GoPro's monitor is up here. So, All right. So for me to find the center, we just hit both sides. And we found uh, there are 194 between them. So that puts us at 97 will be our center. So I can come back, crank the table this way. A little too far. Seven O and zero tenths. Right there. Next up, we got to put in uh, the end mill. This is the same one I used before. It still still feels really sharp. So make a good knife edge. Okay. So next, actually use this. It's got both lighting on it and a magnifying glass, I can set it up and I can watch things a lot better um, through the magnifying glass. I can see exactly where I'm at a lot closer. All right, I'm going to come down and touch off on the work. Right there, lock the quill. I put a small piece of uh, electrical tape on here. I'm going to raise the table up until I see the um, bit. Just touch that. And uh, it's actually two pieces of electrical tape. So my goal will be that it just starts to stick. All right, right about there. Six spins and 22 dots. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six. And we come around and stop there. So this is through the, the magnifying glass. This is uh, what I usually use for um, watching the bit as it, as it cuts. I've already moved everything around. We're ready for the next cut.
Yeah, I can feel the, uh, the chuck over here. I can feel it flex a little bit whenever I hit. Not enough to break loose, but at least I'll know to back off if it does break loose. six times one two three four five six and then around to the other end of the spider now we're set up here go ahead and turn it on Okay, so far so good. Hopefully we can keep that going. Um, probably just jinxed it and now everything is going to go to hell. <laughs> Hopefully not. Um, really sucks, especially when you're this far into it. At least uh, last time I knew we were pretty screwed. And while I went ahead and completed it anyway, um, yeah, I wasn't that invested into it at the time. So going through the motions was actually just good exercise more than anything. I'm trying to build a little bit of experience so I can actually watch how everything works. So uh, the next part, I've got uh, basically just some drops here. So we're going to go five turns on the index head, which is going to spin it not quite all the way, and 550 or maybe 525 off center. So that's our uh, 13. Uh, 
up here. So we actually will move the, the head over um, slightly more than a half an inch, somewhere between 550 thousandths, 525 thousandths. Um, and then we'll actually do the, the same process again, going through and cutting back and forth on each one. This is going to be a, a significantly smaller cut and there's a little bit of uh, wiggle room trying to figure out the actual depth that we cut. Um, there's probably an exact science to it somewhere. I don't know what that is. So I use the eyeball silence. I'll actually, you know, I've, I kind of guesstimated these during the first two that I'd made. And the last one the uh, kind of changed the 550 to 525, which that was a number that it was always my starting number. And uh, I'd kind of play with it as I was going until it looked right. So last time I'd, I settled on 525 was, was looking about right for the, for the size of those. And most of them came out okay, except for of course the ones that kind of spoiled the parts. So all that aside, let's go ahead and uh, set this up. So we're gonna go five turns off center and 550 off center in that same direction. So there's no spider involved in this. I'm just going five turns and I, I would like it to come towards me, I think. Yeah, so one, two, three, four, five. All right, and then the table should go away from me. We want to get uh, on the DRO up here to 550 so the table is away from me. So we want to go this way. So it'll be a negative 550 or 525, sorry. back around where we started from. <clears throat> All right, so next up is to get to the other side. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to zero out the knee down here. So I can do that by just twisting this guy here. So that way I know where he's at. That way I can come up, well, I can move the table down a fixed amount. Then I can move over to 525 on the other side run my uh, 10 uh, rotations on here, which I need to go the other direction though now. So let me see, I'm gonna do my five rotations. One, two, three, four, five. All right, so now that put this guy right here back on dead center at the top. Now to go, keep going. One, two, three, four, five. All right, now the next cut I need to make is gonna be over on this side. 
So the knee's on zero, so I'm going to go ahead and move it down until the, the bit will clear the part. One. Two. Okay, there's plenty of room now for the bit to clear the part. I'm going to unlock the X or the Y, and then I'm going to move to 525. Going from negative 525 to positive 525 this time. Now I can come up the two turns. One. Two. All right, so that puts us reasonably assured that we are in exactly the same position, off of center, same height and everything that we were on this side, but now on the other side. So when we take this cut, it should actually come out pretty much perfect. We must be pretty close. side of the mill um, while I was setting up I took a look at it and it, it's exactly like we wanted it to be so it's actually come out really well um, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, finish these cuts and uh, I think we may have a success here hope against hope of course now I jinxed it let's see how it goes Uh, I don't want to pull anything out because once you pull it out, you can never get it back in. So if there's anything else I want to do, if there's anything I got to go a little deeper on, or you know anything I missed, I got to do it now. Um, otherwise, this is the last chance, at least in here. All right, so I got them cleaned up a little bit here, and. Uh, just kind of inspecting them. They actually look really good. I will need to come through and uh, with a file and just do some basic touch up work, kind of clean up some of the bases. I've had to do that with all of them, so this one's actually probably the best looking one so far. And yeah, and I guess technically the best looking four so far. I'm liking it. I'm ready to pull it out. All right, we're gonna go ahead and take this out of here. I'm gonna loosen the tailstock here. Off. Find out if we can just break them loose from here.
it's actually gonna come out all right. There it is. Now the rest of this I should be able to cut off. I'll probably actually do it on the bandsaw. The horizontal cut off bandsaw. It can come in here. It's uh, not quite as clean of a cut, but I got a, enough uh, here to clean up anyway. But it's a lot thinner cut, so it actually leaves me more to be able to clean up. And it's a little easier. <laughs> 